Today I'm going to be changing the sight glass on a steam boiler. First thing you got to do is loosen the nuts. Usually they're only hand tight. The washers, try to spin them without moving the glass. It's going to be very hard. And if you can't, it's a little twist up and down. Up and down. Okay. They have to be replaced. The glass can be cleaned, but this glass has been a pain to clean. So I'm gonna replace it. Along with the, the rubber and the ferro, this brass ring. Even though that ferro looks very good. I mean, here's the old nuts still here from last time, but these I can reuse. They're nice and clean, so I could still use them. But this glass, I do not want to use over and over again. It's just, that's too labor intensive to clean. So let's cut a new one. What you need for this project is a sight glass. You're gonna need new washers, because without new washers, you're not gonna be able to make a seal. Some guys say they reuse the washers. I change the washers every single time. I clean it just as long if I take it off a boiler I clean it I'm changing those a lot of guys say hey overkill no reason for that and I say do what you wanna I've had too many times where I've had boilers leak after I'm done working on them and you're trying to tighten and tighten and nothing really is working I mean you just keep cranking and cranking away what is oh, cable wire on my boiler Get out of here. Okay, so now there's the sight glass. Take the old sight glass, take the new sight glass, put them side by side, stand them up on the boiler, whatever side is better. Doesn't matter. Take the marker. And that's where I want to cut it. You're going to take your glass cutter. Squeeze a little, and you spin around, scorching a nice line into it. Two spins one way, go back the other direction. Okay. And we're going to snap. Okay. Boom. Then you just scorch it right off. Just kind of snap it. And you're left with a pretty nice cut. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it's nice. So now, need the new washers. Two new washers. Put your nut, your farrow, and your washer. There you go. And that's for that side. Now for the other. Now, like I said, if these are dirty, you got to brush them, clean them good, or just swap them. I don't mess around with these. These could be reused. They actually could be, but I just pop them in along with a new gasket. Be careful. Glass is sharp, so don't play around with that. You'll cut yourself, guys. I got Kevlar gloves on, so I'm safe. I'm kidding. Not Kevlar, not safe. And they slice and dice so easy. So easy. There goes a pinky toe. There goes my pinky toe. And now, because I'm cleaning this out, this is gunky. I'm going to flush the boiler through here. Guy's going to be like, oh, you'd never be on my job. You're using a crap channel lock style tool jaw smooth and flat doesn't put no marks on here and i've been working on this boiler for over 20 years are there marks are these all chewed up nope not at all not my style Stole it. so here we go we're gonna go up and in. 
that's pretty much what you want to do. You want to make sure you're in place. So now we got this going in here. It reaches. Now the top is in. A little higher up. Boom. Bring this up. Wonder how the other side's doing. Poor thing. Right, we're gonna fill the boiler. Make sure the sight glass doesn't leak. We just installed. We're gonna start getting water in here. Make sure these are both open. Here comes the water. I actually got to get a treatment in this boiler. Okay, so that should be good. They're not going to be happy, but they're not going to be able to use their auto feed. That's good. That's how to change a sight glass.